the peregrine falcon is considered the world's fastest bird with a diving speed of over 200 miles per hour when hunting. The Hayabusa, or peregrine falcon in Japanese, allows you to hunt most other vehicles on the road, which are mere scattering chipmunks compared to this awesome cruise missile. While the top speed is electronically limited to 186 miles per hour, we think this bike would beat or surpass a peregrine falcon in full dive when ungoverned. This is the 25th anniversary edition 2024 Suzuki Hayabusa, a legendary machine whose reputation truly precedes it. What a masterpiece. So what's new on this version of the Hayabusa? Firstly, the 25th anniversary Hayabusa glass blaze orange and glass sparkle black color combination that features the iconic Hayabusa kanji symbols right here, which again in Japanese mean the Peregrine Falcon. This color combo is visually striking and one of the best looking I've ever seen. Unique to this bike, you have your 25th anniversary emblem and raised Suzuki logos featured on the fuel tank of this bike. There are elegant 25th anniversary logos etched into each muffler. You have a distinctive gloss black Cowling trim. The brake rotor carriers and drive chain adjusters are gold anodized. The Hayabusa Kanji logo is applied to the drive chain plates. The single seat cowling is included as standard equipment on this model, and we think it looks perfect. All right, so what's powering this beast? A four stroke, liquid cooled, four cylinder, direct overhead camshaft, 1340cc engine, rocking 190 horsepower. Embrace yourself. 110 pound-feet of torque at just 7,000 RPM. And we're doing this on a machine that has undergone 25 years of streamlining and improvements, ultimately culminating into this, which, if my intuition serves me correctly, is likely the last great beast of a Hayabusa of all time. But with the increasingly strict regulations from our governments and environmental nuts, Suzuki upgraded this bike, filling it to the brim with cutting-edge tech, such as Bosch Six Direction IMU and Bosch ABS with motion track braking, slope-dependent control, control system and hill hold control system for example and an engine finely tuned over 25 years more than a gold medal olympian ladies and gents you couldn't possibly squeeze out more performance than this and stay legal this is the epitome of a fit motorcycle and one of the last of a dying breed of big internal combustion engine bikes that is to be savored and appreciated if you can hear me over this hurricane get ready for a review of this fine-tuned beast but first let's do a start up and hear the stock exhaust sound just have a look at that key with the golden Hayabusa kanji written right on it. A beautiful touch. As you can see, this gorgeous bike only has 30 miles on it, so I can't go crazy with the exhaust, but I'll give you a little taste. Guys, I am loving this bike. It is so beautiful. It's big, it's bold, it's bright. It definitely has a hunched over riding position, but it's surprisingly comfortable. Okay, I'm gonna get blown away by this wind here. If a tree falls on me, I love you guys. It's, it's comfortable, it just feels planted. It's not a 600 sport bike, but the thing can handle around corners. And it just has a huge presence. Anywhere you go, people are going to be giving you a thumbs up on this beautiful machine. I love it. Can't wait to give it a full review. Look at that front end. It's gorgeous. It's aerodynamic. Multiple LEDs. It's got the little kanji written right on there in the front LED, if you can see it. Right there. Just fine attention to detail. Just under 20000 bucks for these. That's a lot of performance for the money. You really can't beat it. Really the best competitor to this, I guess, is the Ninja ZX 1400. Both of them great beasts. Anyway, I can't wait to review this, so keep it locked into Ducati Diaries. And until next time, always remember the motto, always be kinder than necessary, and I will see you in the next one. I love you guys.